Um, Mr. Barnovich, uh, you stated a moment ago that states want to do everything they can to protect their citizens. Would you agree that every single member of Congress should also take whatever steps are necessary to protect their citizens? I believe every member of Congress takes an oath to swear and uphold the Constitution of the United States, and that includes protecting their citizens within their states or districts. And Mr. Jadwat, you defend sanctuary cities under the concept of the Tenth Amendment, which I'm really excited to hear a liberal talk about the importance of the Tenth Amendment. I think we could have a lot more discussions about what we ought to be doing under the Tenth Amendment. But you use the Tenth Amendment claiming that it is an anti-commandeering theory. But isn't that exactly what the Biden administration is doing, is commandeering? during the resources of Texas and Arizona and every other state in the nation to absorb the costs associated with illegal immigration? So commandeering refers to actually... I want you to answer my question. Well, no, when not Texas, under the legal when definition. Texas, when Texas has to use its resources to absorb the costs associated with illegal immigration, isn't that commandeering? Not within the meaning okay, of the Okay, then I'm not amendment. going to bother with you if you're not going to actually engage on the, on the terminology that you use. Mr. Brnovich, in February 2022, you drafted an attorney general opinion on the federal government's duty to protect the states and the state's sovereign power of self-defense when being invaded. One of the questions you address is what constitutes actually invaded for the state self-defense clause and invasion for the invasion clause. Mr. Bornovich, what do you conclude the scope of invasion means in the Constitution, and does the Constitution's contrasting of invasion with insurrection, rebellion, and domestic violence create a situation where it can be applied to non-state actors? Uh, our opinion lays forth the uh, distinction between uh, domestic insurrections and rebellion versus an actual invasion. If you, if you go back to the Federalist Papers, which were designed during the constitutional ratification, the debate in Federalist 41, Federalist 42, Federalist 43, James Madison set forth clearly that invasion constituted not only state, but non-state actors. How do these pieces of crap sleep at night? And by the way, let's go back to the, just the talk about sanctuary cities because I find it very interesting. Every sanctuary city should be flooded with these migrants. They shouldn't be stuck in red Texas Remember when um, DeSantis sent them to Martha's Vineyard and those people were like, oh, we'll give you a hug and send you on your way because they are not honest. They are virtue signaling. They say they support sanctuary cities. They say no hate welcome here. They say everyone's welcome here. No, they are lying. The mayor of Philadelphia, where I'm from originally, Jim Kenney did a stupid jig. He's such a loser when they declared themselves a sanctuary city. Is he doing a jig now? Are the residents of Philadelphia doing a jig now? Are the parents in New York who couldn't send their children to school because migrants were sleeping there, are they dancing around now? No, this is a serious problem. And these Democrat politicians and these liberals who support them should have to live and reap what they sow. Enough is enough. <laughs>